Roman back with another episode of the Roman Empire. Last time we made incursions into uh, Seleucid territory down here. We held Tyre at the time of war. We finished up our conquest along Asia Minor and we have a pretty good border there. I'm probably going to continue to expand through Armenia and at least a portion of Mesopotamia. Probably coming around here taking the rest of Syria, which means I'm probably going to have to declare war on Mahin. Uh, I'm gonna not do that right now because this is happening. <laughs> As you might remember, there was a huge invasion force that was massing along the borders over here. And I'm moving this army back up into the territory that's controlled by me so I can get it to become uh, completely repurposed into an actual Roman force, uh, good and proper for the defense of the Empire. We will have to worry about this, uh, as each of these is a very decent stacked army. So, and all we really have here at Tyre is our pity force here with a few elephants. Yes, I can do a little more on this. In honor, I come bearing gifts. And why do you move away? Probably be a part out Saturday, but then after that, it will probably be over a week before the next part simply because I am getting things situated, I'm going through the act of moving, and it's just generally going to be a headache and pain, and I'm not going to have the time to devote to recording, or for that matter, to playing, as my computer will most likely be picked apart, set over to the side.
to serve Rome. We do have these though, so. Recruiting more ships for Rome. Splitting back up, Egypt is. Egypt would be wise to take that army back south. <laughs> but I know they're not wise. They're gonna do whatever they want. Because it sounds like a good idea. It is a great and glorious thing to die for Rome! In honor, I come bearing gifts. And why do you move away in such a fashion? Can you Summer's all over the place. Sounds kind of gross. At your service. Here, 
In Rome's service, I never tire. Tarsus, join up with our force down here, at the 10th and 13th, move on towards Jerusalem, I think. Continue sending our army over here to garrison Ready for at Nymanta, Nymantia, whatever. And... At your command. Yeah. All right. Upgrade our fleets and armies. your command. over here so they're not under imminent threat I'm gonna lead my fleet this direction see if I can't get it into friendly waters to get it upgraded and then I'll send it back to Kyrene I think is there nothing else <clears throat> oh there it goes someone figured it out that neat Episode running back and forth between provinces, but late game, that's generally what happens. In honor, I come bearing gifts. And why do you move away in such a fashion? You're thinking about it. No. We Despite the fact that I'm kind of a fractious empire, that's actually pretty close to what it looked like. Peace is not an easy word. Warriors speak of honor and glory, but you have little of them left. Axel, Axel, Slugid, Slugid, Slugid. 
actually gonna do that, I think. to go into the Crimea yet, and I most likely never will in this campaign. Horatius Reborn! Settlement. We take this settlement for Rome. Like I'm taking first in the pro. We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. Uh, 
said, but that down here in Dura, the border, might be a good idea, actually. Okay, so there. Doing that. Alright. That makes more sense. Better garrison on the frontier. Besieging the settlement! Pushpa? That path is blocked. Set it over here and we're gonna see and I'll be alright to upgrade. No next yep. command. Good. Is there nothing else? That'll work. I think that's all my navies. So my navies. This is two, no. in Egypt now. Good for us. By I Zeus, do not take plan. this offer lightly. I make it now in friendship, but that can change. Gave the second Antigua at Dora. Seems like a good spot for him at the moment. Des is probably gonna get it though after we build up our garrison at Dora. I'm going to send the 10th Rapax to. I'm gonna 
send the ten ratbacks to the desert. These legions are staying in this territory just in case they don't trust the uh, AI enough to just completely denude my frontier. Sinope's gonna maintain that fleet. to me I don't actually Yeah, there we go. Um, case of my... I gotta wait a turn for him to come back into being there, so... We'll hold off on that for now. While we build... Another military machine over here, though. Cornelia. Yeah, this will be the Cornelia invasion, so raise an army. Ready for battle! Atlantica will be ready to go. Good 
good for us. Yes. In the meantime, however, we're gonna move this fleet out from there. Glory. Finally, it's been sitting here since the beginning of war. <laughs> Which, granted, it wasn't really that long ago when you look at the time, but still. Uh... Alright. chance should I do with that? How about our Sata? And we will do Romanization, because you're not Roman. Probably take one of those Iberian armies, well, which one, but one of them, to uh, join us on campaign. This will be a major invasion, of course. This enemy must be attacked. Romans have done nothing to me. I will not attack them. However, feel free to, Massilia. I have no problems with you gaining territory. It counts towards me. That's right, I have armored legionaries I could probably make somewhere, somehow. I don't remember if I was making them at Rome or not, I'll have to double check, because I think so. If so, that's exactly where I'm building the next legion. Three turns. Ah, three turns. And, come on, I wanted to... Yeah, whatever. Okay. It is an honor to serve Rome. Put your backs into it, you men! Sail our fleets next to each other and then be prepared for our embarkation. At your command. Okay, we got that one. Or we hunger that for battle. Concordialis sounds better. At your Leave command. America in Iberia. I know, that's weird. That's a stronger legion, the Fifth Herculia. Commander. It needs to see blood, so we're gonna march Ready for Cordialis to Berdigala, and we'll take Herculia with us on our campaign. And since that is our client state, we have the capacity to walk through their territory. We the we'll also take the First Italica. We with the 14th Ferrata. And... Whatever the 15th is going to be, in three turns, we'll find out. Dang it. Really hoping. Oh well. Unfortunately, this is the time of the game when there's a whole lot of turning going on. I mean, it's still not as bad as Attila. Attila, it seems like, for the first, you know, hundred turns or so, all I'm doing is sitting there hitting the turn button. 
building up my armies or building up my population in my cities and so on and so forth. So, I mean, the population mechanic is nice because it does kind of give you a goal to reach for settlement size, and it kind of makes sense. It's not like, you know, the Romans, at least in this t uh, period, although it can be argued they maybe did it by the time of the villa, uh, make a colony from scratch with... There is glory to be had! Well, I'm not having it. Uh, but they would use the... Uh, or it's not like they set up a colony from scratch and were like, yep, we're gonna put an inn here, a temple there, and this uh, giant wall all around. It's gonna be as big as... As big as anything that is essentially like setting Rome up on the frontier. They didn't really do that. They did do prefab settlements, but not to that extent. So, in that case, I kind of get the mechanic for population control, or population, where you get immigrants and the like settling in the colony that you founded, and it has to build up before it can get to a certain size, because that happened. They were started on a grid, but after that, it kind of changed. Uh, Dora, I want her. Assassin, cattle trader, or lion trader. It's Antioch. So lion. First to me, I don't have a lot of industrial buildings. I'm mostly an agricultural empire, but I don't care. I will probably not be that when it comes to Octavian. I'll most likely be an industrial powerhouse. <laughs> I play that game a slight bit different than I do the the original campaign. Uh, that, um, that. Sounds good. Pizos, everything going good there. Yep. Yep, indeed. Where's the Where is it? There it is. Yep, that looks good too. I have a lot of Neptune temples, so if that's the case, I'll probably not have to spend too much money on Basilicae, but the off chance that I do, I still think I'll be okay. When do you attack these I people? Am. It is a simple warrior's question, oh, and it's no great thought I before. Just not yet. Winter near Massilia. Waiting Build for up yourself orders. some honor. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Herculia. Herculia needs to come over here. Buddies, what you doing around Jerusalem? And it got me worried. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know what? If they decide to uh, make war on me, whatever. I still have enough forces to deal with them over there. Oh, I forgot about that legion, though. I need them. I need to march them to Odessa. I need to merge them up to Odessa. Will you sit like old men in the shade? I got no reason. Lane is not my problem. Not my problem. So cool. Uh, gonna move. 
these units. Actually, I'm gonna move these guys up here to Carthage. Easy and I have four of the net them. Ready for battle. He doesn't have. I was almost gonna build the circus there, but I guess well. Wow. Survive. Long enough. We hunger for battle. March. Let's get you here. Finding shelter. And we will do Eagle Cohort. Come Armor and Legio. Turns for that full legion. That is the 15th pretensis. Nice. 15th Ironsides. And with the armored legionary, I believe I'm. <clears throat> okay, that's not too bad. I think. Thank you. 
gonna sail them around the coast here, which is Ready a trek and a half, so we're gonna double time it. Sound the drums! Hard on the oars, you men! Yes. Still have a good wind. It's such a weird looking building when they build up the mines to the top tier. Not sure what all those wheels are for. Alright, so the left, left six Lyrica is there. Our 12th Concordialis is right. I was having the Pithacoolia here. Commander. We're gonna set them out. Make haste, men. Still at positive 41. People love us. That's your command. Of course, if you had a huge legion with elephants sitting in your territory, you'd probably not have a problem with anyone either. <laughs> episode I am going to get to the channel which will set us up for the invasion next part we will have our true British invasion and possibly even end this series next episode you stand idle what which would be good for the fact that I'm moving and that would be a nice
nice clean slate, so the next episode thereafter would begin the Octavian campaign, oddly enough, in my own house, which, I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be nice. <laughs> Especially if you knew how I'm doing my, uh, study downstairs. This enemy must be attacked! It's already made, but I'm going to, uh, give it the full Roman library look with the window slats and paint job and the uh, two color red and tan. Kinda like it. Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. Stop the adoption though, gotta do it. Duron trying to do Your command. All right, let us push north at once, Commander. On the move, ready for battle. We hunger for battle. March. That's fine. Wish of me. My wits and words are yours. Looking good. Good deed. All right. 
Doesn't look like I'm taking any attrition. Another thing I miss. On the move. I don't have to worry about that. Commander. Not here anyway. On the move. Ready for orders. Make haste, men. Commander. Our advance has been halted. Advance. Ready for further Here we orders. Go. So the legions are on their way. Magnificence and greatness always come at a price, and our price must, of necessity, be high. Fine. Well, no, I'm not paying you. I am not going to fuel your military machine. That's not happening. Ooh, I'm getting attrition in Dr. Duran that winter. Province is under my control. Which province? Doesn't say. What province? Make haste, men. Sure, At your command. March. Ready for battle. At once. Commander. On the move. You have further orders? Yeah. If I wanted to, I could pretty much go straight across here. But I feel like this is the better embarkation point. I should be all right. I got Iska here, which is under the Nathedes. Probably going to ally with them, actually. If I can. Come, come. Let me hear your talk. 
I warn you, I have no stomach for the meat or nice. You stand... more than make a little more wealth. Like I need it, but still. Let's move this legion now completed. Ready for battle. <laughs> Floating banner and everything. That's just yeah, amazing. It, yep, let's go this way. I have no Ready idea what that is, but we're kind of like the medium easing invisible general, guys. There he is. Uh, hopefully he never has to fight a battle or probably crash the game. Commander, advance! Ready for order. We hunger for battle at once. have happened. As you see, Macedonia has taken a lot of territory from the Bowie. The Bowie themselves are heavily depleted. The uh, Gallic Confederation is also uh, looking like it's had better days. Marco Mani are holding steady north of the border at the Danube and Rhine. And, uh, yeah, we have a eastern peace, Prox Orientum. It's probably one good name today. But, um, this is where I'll leave it, so Saturday, last part before the move, probably about a week or more before the next episode after that. I uh, apologize again, but really, probably the best strategic decision considering all the things I'm going to have to do, so until then, I'll see you later.